<laughs> yes. Greetings, greetings, everyone. I hope you're having a good week, or at least I hope it's off to a good start. First of all, I want to say thank you very much for your patience. Last week, I decided to take the week off because I had a very bad chest congestion, very bad cold, which usually means I am exhausted from all the coughing and the nose blowing and the medication, and I end up being zonked out kind of like a zombie. Most of last week, I didn't have a voice, so I couldn't even talk if I wanted to. So that's one thing that uh, uh, kept me out of commission last week, and I don't like putting out half-quality content. So I decided to take the week off to kick it back and let the medication do its work instead of pressing things and stressing my system even more. And I'm feeling much, much better. I'm feeling much closer to 100%. I still have a little bit of a cough, a little bit of a sinus drip, but it's okay. So uh, to kick things off, first of all, I want to say um, it's almost Thanksgiving. So happy almost Thanksgiving to all of my American watchers. Uh, to all of you um, folks outside of the United States, happy November. Uh, we have been very, very busy here at Grimco HQ and we've been trying to bring some really, really good deals to you. So starting this Friday, if you are not an American or if it's not a tradition, I don't know what parts of the world this is celebrated in, but there's a thing called Black Friday. It sounds ominous, but basically what it is, is the first, supposed to be the first official retail shopping day of the Christmas season. It's the day after Thanksgiving, this coming Friday. And what this means is most websites, most retailers have amazing deals that they actually do where they put discount codes and whatnot into the actual, into their websites, specific things that you can buy in store for specific periods of time that are on sale, et cetera, et cetera. And the Grimco store is going to be participating in this holiday season. So all weekend long, starting at 1 a.m. Eastern, that's midnight central, uh, at 1 a.m. Eastern time, uh, the, the website shop.vagram.com is going to have a discount of 20% on all goods using discount code GRIMCO20. You will be seeing this uh, pushed out through my, my Twitter. You'll see it posted on the website, vagram.com. Do not worry, you will not miss it. So we're going to have a discount code good for 20% off your order. That is going to be all weekend through into midnight on Monday evening, Cyber Monday. Now, at various points on Friday and on Monday, we're going to have hour-long blocks. And these hour-long blocks are basically going to have an extra 5 maybe even 10% off, depending upon the item, if you pay attention. If you need to get something, now is the time that you want to do it. Now is the point that you're going to want to get those orders in so you can get them fulfilled and get a great deal in the process. It's going to be everything from baseball caps to mugs to T-shirts. I'm pretty sure everybody in the store is going to be participating. So... Uh, just keep your eyes peeled. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at Vigram and we will actually get that set up and going and it's going to be glorious. We'll be tweeting out details when the sales are happening ahead of time on my Twitter account. We're also going to be posting it on the website. So if you just keep your eyes peeled on Vagram.com, you'll be good to go. Now that's that. And, uh, we can move on to other business. Uh, we are testing basically what is release candidate one for Vagram's chance 1.0. If the testing goes fine today, that pack is going to be submitted to Curse this evening, probably right about the time you're watching this video, which means we will send it out to, uh, to Curse for approval, and they, if they approve it, will put it up on the launcher, which means that it will be a public, searchable, and findable pack, which is going to be glorious. We have had a long and arduous road of bringing you an interesting and stable that's the important part, mod pack of the course of the last several months. And I'm happy that we can finally put something out that people can use. Now, we are going to be using this pack to kick off season four of Vagram's Chance. There's going to be two parts to Vagram's Chance. We're going to be doing it in two segments and you'll understand why later. But we have two ideas and we're going to be doing them in segment. The first one is going to be coming out probably within the next week. We're going to start recording it, I hope, this weekend, which means it should start off next week maybe start off right around the beginning of December. We'll see. It really depends upon schedules and getting all the guys together. Now, once that is actually said and done and we start recording that, I'm going to do a side series. It's going to be called Grimco Construction and it is going to be set over on my test server. I'm actually going to be doing a survival let's play 
I'm going to be doing it off the server and in hopes of using it as an experimental test bed for some of the things that we'll be using in official season four capacity, learning some things before I have to use them in action on season four and maybe even building some cool things in the process, but it is going to be a survival series. Um, so yeah, and you'll be able to see some of the people that support me on my Patreon on a regular basis. I'm hoping to do about two of us a week of that. We'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, those are the things you can expect in the Minecraft front here in the next uh, few weeks. In regards to the channel and other games, a lot of you have been asking, where is Subnautica and where as we happy few? I have the same problem with both games. Right now, about the time that I start making progress in the game, the developers, because these are early access games, the developers will push out an update that breaks or completely corrupts my save file and I have to restart. And at the rate that I'm going, I have to end up having to restart about once a month, sometimes less. And that's not really good. That's not conducive towards being able to get settled in, get some traction and really get going. And it's not a situation where at least, well, in Subnautica, you kind of can, but it's not a situation in Minecraft where I could just start up a new world and cheat my way back to where I was previously. That is going to lessen the benefits and lessen the real uh, conquests and achievements that we make in that series if I did that. And I can't do that in We Happy Few. There's no way to cheat items in. I have to play that game legit, at least as far as I know. So I'm going to put those on the back burner for now and I'm going to watch them. I am not done with those games, not by a long shot. And this is not me saying that I think those games are bad. However, I pay, play those games at less of a pace than probably the average enthusiastic gamer would be. If I'm playing those anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a month because I'm separating it out and spacing it out for recording, and I try not to do a lot of off-camera stuff, that means that I end up redoing those 8 to 12 hours, the same 8 to 12 hours, every single month. And I don't like putting up repeat content like that. It, it, it doesn't make for good. And if I keep having to redo that off-camera, start a new save file, get back to the point I was previously off-camera, and then progress more, the next time the save file gets corrupted or compromised, that window for how far I have to progress gets bigger and bigger and bigger, which means more and more and more and more off camera each month. And that does not work out. So I'm going to be moving on to other games. I am finishing up Alien Isolation that's been rerunning on the channel here. That will be continuing. Don't worry about that. That's going to be three episodes a week still. I might be moving it to Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, but we'll see. I'm going to start doing some more episodes of Mod Guide on the channel, but it's going to be smaller things. Once upon a time, I used to have a series called Hot Blocks. And Hot Blocks is a very good idea for a series, but it's very hard to fulfill accomplishments for that specifically because of the state we're in in Minecraft nowadays. Um, I set goals and rules for Hot Blocks where a Hot Block has to be something that meets certain criteria. It has to be high quality block from a high quality mod. It has to be relatively bug free, easy to use and really player friendly. That's hard to find nowadays. One of those two or two or three points on that list at any given point in time, I can't meet because of stability problems or uh, ease of use problems or something. So I don't want to have to worry about people questioning if I'm putting block tutorials out on hot blocks and I'm not meeting that. That feels like a compromise to me. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to start doing mod guides again. I have not been doing them for a long time because we left 1710 and we had this massive transition period. First it was 18, uh, was it 189? And then 194, uh, well 189, then 190, and then 194. Now we've finally settled on 1.10.2 and 1.11 is around the corner. Forge already exists for 1.11. And mods are already updating for 1.11. And it's complicated. Vagrom's Chance is going to be 1.10. And we already have a couple of mods that are version static. They're not updating. So um, that's not great to start. But we have to work with what we can work with. So I am going to be doing more mod guides. And I'm going to be working on that in the future. Uh, at this point in time, uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing first. 
specifically, but I can tell you the mod that it's going to be coming from. It, that's going to be actually additions. Actually, additions is a huge new mod that's actually in Vagrant's Chance 4. I'm really excited about a lot of the things and aspects from it. I'm seeing ways that I could do power tutorials using blocks, multiple blocks from to generate power uh, in actually additions. Lots of ideas that I think could be really, really neat. And I want to start setting, doing setups. Most of my mod guides coming up are probably going to be smaller stuff. It's going to be in the, um, oh gosh, probably 10 to 20 minute range. It's going to be shorter. It's not going to be these big 45 minute to hour long tutorials on all these different blocks. I'm going to be doing more bite-sized concepts and more bite-sized ideas because I think that's a better way to go. So uh, let's see what's next on the agenda. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I've been getting back into that I used to play. Oh, that's one. Okay. Uh, like a Warframe is a game that I used to play a lot. My friend Sice, the Shoop, got me involved in it, and I played it some with him, with Trunks, with other people in the community. Uh, it's a free game, and it's a really good game. That game uses less than a gig of memory at any given point in time that I'm playing it, and that's saying something because the graphics look amazing. So I'm going to be digging Warframe back out of Mothballs, and I'm going to start playing it again. I think it could be a good community game. It is an action shooter. It's free. You do not have to sink money into it if you don't want to. Now, there is a bit of a grind to getting some things, especially mid to late game. But I think maybe if we got some people playing within the community, helping each other out, uh, we could either post on the Discord or post on the forums. Hey, this is my name. This is what I'm doing in, in Warframe, or this is what I'm shooting for. This blueprint, this Warframe, this robot, et cetera, et cetera. If you have not played Warframe, that's W-A-R-F-R-A-M-E, all one word in Steam. Go look it up. It's big. Like as for in terms of a download size, it is big, but I think it could be a really good community game to play. Um, Ark Survival Evolved. We are going to be phasing Ark Survival Evolved out for me at least as being a live stream game for Wednesday Wednesday nights because Ark is not very conducive towards live streaming. Um, Ark is a game that is best suited towards day to day or every other day content because so much of that game is based around, um maintaining your dinosaurs and maintaining your defenses and maintaining your supplies and having to make sure your dinosaurs are fed every morning, stuff like that. So it's not a very once a week friendly game. So I'm going to be changing it to a series. I'm going to do a let's play right now. I'm considering doing just a single player. Let's play. However, um, I am, that is where I'm starting with right now. It's going to be modded arc. It's not going to be vanilla. I can't handle vanilla. I'm not that tough but it is going to be Marted Arc. I'm considering branching this out to a uh, multiplayer on the server because Berg has a server. Maybe I convince him. We've been sitting stale on that for a while. A lot of people have been making progress. I don't want to make them reset, but I want a fresh start if I'm going to be starting off. So I'm still figuring out how I'm going to be doing that. I've considered getting my own server, but at this point in time, uh, I can't afford to do that right now. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Finances are a little complicated going into the holiday season, and uh, I need your support now more than ever. So if you've ever considered getting some T-shirts or some merchandise, some hats or some mugs, please consider watching the sales this weekend. Um, I actually do have uh, donate links and Patreon links that you can find in the description down below. Um, consider just throwing some support if you actually... And this is not just me, any YouTuber that you really love, any real YouTuber that you really, really support. If you can spare the financial, if you can't spare the financial, this is not a statement that means that you're some kind of a lesser person. You are just as important than all the other people that can throw money at a problem. What I need for everyone to do is basically hit the like, hit that thumbs up on a video, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, so you don't miss out on future videos and all of this new content we're going to be pushing out through the next month and into the holidays. Until next time, though, I'm going to wrap things up here. I'll catch you folks on the next vlog. And again, make sure you're keeping your eyes on Vagram, at Vagram on Twitter, or Vagram.com, the website, for news about the sales, discount codes, times for the flash sales, everything else. Keep your eyes peeled. I'll catch you folks later. Have a great one. Bye-bye.